One of the most common Rocket League tips we've all heard is to rotate, but despite how much it's mentioned, there aren't a whole lot of explanations of great team rotation out there. Of course, there are some more advanced and nuanced points about rotation that frankly, I'm not really qualified to cover, but this will be a great start and will put you firmly ahead of many players out there. I will say this is not a rigid positioning system as there are often unique situations that you have to react to in Rocket League. Hopefully this will just get you thinking about how rotation works as you play. I'm gonna be drawing from the Rocket League subreddit again, this time from user LMFAO underscore Schwartz. About three months ago, Schwartz made an infographic to help sort out some rotation confusion. Probably the clearest in-depth explanation of rotation I've seen. So we're going to animate the shit out of it to make it even more easy for you. Ready? Let's do this. There are two basic types of rotation, offensive rotation and defensive rotation. In both situations, there are three basic positions, one for each player. Again, it's important to note that soccer, and before non-Americans are triggered, is a fluid game. So positions aren't 100% fixed and should be flexible. Basically, the positions are to help you understand what your role should be based on where you are on the field. It could be different based on play style and preference, but this is how most effective teams do it. Let's look at offense first, starting with position one. If you're in position one, your job is to center the ball. In lower levels, you literally just have to bang it into the corner and it'll roll up in front of the goal, no problem. But as you rank up, players get better at defending it and you have to get more creative. Try dribbling up the wall and tapping it away at the last second. Or one of the harder things in the world to defend is a back wall bounce above the goal. So that's another great location for a pass. It's a relatively simple ball to finish, but takes a lot of practice to defend, even for high level players. Now, after you've completed that pass, or if you suck at Rocket League, whiff the ball or send it towering over the goal, your secondary objective is to steal the corner boost if it's there and bust your butt over to position number two to get ready to receive a better pass from your teammate. This is position two. Your first priority at position two is obviously to take the shot. Thankfully, your solo standard teammates are happy to remind you what's supposed to happen after a pass. If the pass doesn't make it out of the corner or goes over the goal, it's time to rotate. And here's where a lot of mistakes happen. A lot of players will follow the blown pass to the corner and try to spin back against their body to attempt another cross. However, at this point, it's actually time to rotate back to position number three. If you're in position number three, your primary objective is to be the first one back on defense and to block any clears in order to keep the attack going. For your secondary objective, let's go back to the scenario we were just talking about. After a blown pass, you are now rotating to position one to attempt the second pass. You have a much better angle than position two because you've been back the whole time reading the play. However, it's imperative that you get there quickly to apply pressure before the other team regroups and clears. Try to at least get in the way of the clear. You should be able to charge in because you know your position two teammate is rotating back to defense, right? If you see you're gonna get there late, probably best to not go at all. And the rotation is basically off in that case. Like I said, you have to read the play and make a decision based on the situation. If this seems complicated, just remember, the passer becomes the shooter, the shooter becomes the defender, the defender becomes the new passer. As you grow, you'll get a better and better sense for when to stay on the ball and when to rotate. So that's offense. Before we go to defense, let's show our terrible play of the week in boosting to the bottom. Today's boosting to the bottom is submitted by Super Kipper. He really has a douchey crown there and I, Oh yeah, I'm sorry, that's not Super Keeper. This is Super Keeper. Oh, I think I said it wrong. It's SUP 3RK3P3R. And since we're talking about rotation, a big part of that is trusting your teammate. And uh, a big part of trusting your teammate is seeing your teammate. And I don't really think we have either of those elements going on here in this play, but that's all right. Dozens of people will see you now. All right, it's defense time. This is where games are won. A team with good defensive rotation is very, very frustrating to play against. Position number one is in the corner. Your job here is to clear the ball, easy. If the clear fails, your secondary objective is now to rotate hard to the opposite post area, not quite to the corner, but also not in goal. This is position number two. Most teams make the mistake of stacking two players in goal and don't even think of this area as a position. However, it's essential for stopping the really tough backward pass I was talking about earlier. It also gives you a few more options and angles than just having multiple people getting in the way in goal. If position one makes the clear, you can now move up to the ball and get ready for the attack. In the goal is position number three. Your job is to make the save. Oh God, imagine if that was a quick jab. Anyway, after <laughs> a save or failed clear, you move to position one in the corner. So as you can see, defensive rotation is more of a big circle than on offense. So that's basic positioning and rotation. If you want to go even further, there are plenty of excellent resources and people willing to help you on the Rocket League subreddit. In the comments of Schwartz's post, I also found an amazing doubles rotation video by a guy named AllStar4, which you should definitely check out, especially if you're more interested in doubles than standard. Hopefully that wasn't too complicated or boring. Let me know in the comments if you have a better explanation of rotation, uh, if you notice I said something wrong, or if you think I look like Seth Rogen or sound like Tina from Bob's Burgers. <laughs>